guys welcome to my channel keep calm and love maths this is part 5 in the previous classes I have discussed about some problems on relations and I have done that up to question number 6 so I will start this session from the question number 7 so let's proceed so the question is let L be the set of all straight lines in XY plane let R be a relation defined in L as R equal to ordered pair L1, L2 such that L1, L2 belongs to L where L1 is parallel to L2 so that this relation R is an equivalence relation and the next part what is the set of lines related to the line Y equal to I6 plus 3 so the question is here r is given as ordered pair l1 comma l2 such that l1 and l2 belongs to the set l and l1 is parallel this is parallel l1 is parallel to l2 where this l where l is the set of all straight lines in xy plane l is the set of straight lines in xy plane so i have to so we have to uh, check whether this relation is an equivalence relation or not in the set of l so to check equivalence we have to first check either this is reflexive or not so now reflexive part we all know since a straight line is parallel to each other parallel means if we draw two lines in such a way that the distance between these two lines at every point is equal then these two lines will be called parallel so if we consider a line only one line then can we say that L1 is parallel to itself? So I have written this since a straight line is parallel to itself, therefore I can write mathematically L1 is parallel to L1 implies by the definition of this R, by the definition of this R, we can say L1 comma l1 order pair l1 comma l1 belongs to the relation r so we all know that uh, for reflexivity there should be an element in the form a related to a so here we have l1 is related to l1 therefore this relation is reflexive now come to the symmetric part let us take an ordered element l1 comma l2 belongs to relation r this element belongs to relation r by definition of this relation in the equation we have l1 is parallel to l2 so can we say that if a line if a line is parallel to another line l2 if this line is parallel to this line then we can right or we can say that this line is also parallel to this line therefore the way of writing l1 is parallel to l2 or l2 is parallel to l1 this is equal this is same there is no difference therefore the element l1 comma l2 belongs to r it implies that there is another element l2 comma l1 belongs to r therefore this relation r is symmetric right now for transitivity let us consider two elements l1 comma l2 this ordered pair and the other ordered pair l2 comma l3 belongs to r now by definition of r in the equation since this element belongs to r therefore we can write l1 is parallel to l2 and l2 is parallel to l3 now here we have a common which is L2 
L2 is parallel to L1 again L2 is parallel to L3 so combining these two we finally get L1 is parallel to L3 therefore if this satisfies then ordered pair L1 comma L3 belongs to R now finally we conclude for the two elements L1 L2 and L2 L3 belongs to R there exists another element L1 comma L3 belongs to R. Hence, this relation is transitive. So, have a look at this whole part. Reflexive, symmetric, transitive. So, we have the relation R satisfies reflexivity, symmetricity and transitivity. We know that uh, if a relation satisfies all these three, then this relation is called equivalence relation. Therefore, the relation given in the equation R is an equivalence relation. So the next part was what is the set of lines? What is the set of lines related to the line y equal to twice x plus 3? We have to uh, find the set related to the straight line related to the line y equal to twice x plus 3 you know this equation this equation similar to something do you remember this equation is a uh, is an equation of straight line in the form y equal to mx plus c it is a it is an equation of straight line in the form y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope of the line and c is constant or any real number so our answer will be set of lines related to the line y equal to twice x plus 3 is the set of straight lines of the form this where m is slope and c is constant or any real number now the next question is question number a is the relation r r is s ordered pair l1 comma l2 such that l1 and l2 belongs to l l1 and l2 belongs to the set of l and l1 is perpendicular on l2 this sign is perpendicular symbol the question is given as r equal to ordered pair l1 comma l2 such that l1 l2 belongs to l and L1 is perpendicular on L2. Is, an, is this relation an equivalence relation in the set L? In the set L of all straight lines. That means L is the set of all straight lines in the coordinate plan. Here coordinate plan means xy plan. Now we have to check whether this relation R is an equivalence relation or not. Now you see here the relation is R equal to L1 is perpendicular on L2. Now you know this is very obvious so the answer will be no. The answer will be no. R will not be an equivalence relation on this set L of all straight lines in the coordinate plane. Why? Because here the definition is given as L1 is perpendicular on L2. If a line is, suppose we take a line, suppose we take a line L1 belongs to L, where L is the set of all straight lines. Now can we say, can we say this line is perpendicular to itself? No, this is not true. Only uh, a straight line is parallel to each other but this line mm. cannot be perpendicular to each other because perpendicular means the angle between two lines should be 90 degree so a line itself could cannot be perpendicular so this relation will not be reflexive since this relation r could not be reflexive therefore this whole relation cannot be an example of equivalence relation so i am skipping this solution here 
uh, I think you are getting it and you can solve this right now the next question come to the next question that is 9 so that the relation are so that the relation are defined in the set a and here a is set of all polygons set of all polygons as r equal to ordered pair p1 comma p2 such that p1 and p2 belongs to this set of polygons and p1 and p2 have same number of sides so the relation is given as p1 p2 belongs to a set of polygons and p1 and p2 have same number of sides so we have to show this relation is an equivalence relation now the next part is what is the what is the set of elements this is elements in the short form what is the set of elements in a which are related to the rectangle having sides 4 cm and 5 cm so come to the solution now in the question uh, the definition of r is in the way uh, there are a set of polygons where two polygons have same number of sides so for reflexivity if we take a polygon suppose p1 is a polygon belonging to the set a the polygon p1 belonging to the set a now if we take the ordered pair as p1 comma p1 this means that p1 and p1 have same number of sides right because according to definition of this relation, uh, the elements in the ordered pair have same number of sides. Here the element is P1, P1 itself, therefore these elements have same number of sides. So for any polygon P1 belonging to A, we obtain an element P1, P1 belongs to R. Therefore R is reflexive. Now come to symmetricity. Let us take an element P1 and P2 belongs to R. That means according to definition P1 and P2 have same number of sides. P1 and P2 have same number of sides. Can you write uh, it in, in reverse form that P2 and P1 have same number of sides? P2 and P1 have same number of sides. This is nothing but this. This is equal just the way of writing therefore this implies p2 comma p1 belongs to r so for an element p1 p2 belonging to r we get an element p2 comma p1 belongs to r that means this r is symmetric also so you can see here now transitivity let p1 and p2 let order pair p1 p2 p2 p3 belongs to the relation r then according to definition of this relation p1 and p2 have same number of sides and p2 and p3 have same number of sides now this is a polygon this is a polygon here p1 p2 and p3 are three polygons in a way that p1 p2 have same number of sides and the other case p2 and p3 have same number of sides if we combine this we finally get p1 and p3 have same number of sides because p2 p2 p3 have same number of sides and here p1 and p2 have same number of sides where p2 is the common so we will have p1 also have has same number of sides as that of p3 therefore p1 and p3 the element p1 comma p3 belongs to the relation r so if we take two elements in the relation r then we get the another element p1 p3 belongs to r so this relation is obviously transitive now the question was uh, show that the relation r is an equivalence relation so hence we are done because R satisfies all these three, reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, R is an equivalence relation. Now the second part, 
what is the set of elements what is the set of elements in a which are related to the rectangle having sides 4 cm and 5 cm here uh, the question is we have to find the set of elements in a which are related to the rectangles and here the length and breadth of the rectangle are given which are 4 cm and 5 cm respectively so our answer would be this will be the set of all rectangles because here one rectangle is given where length is 4 cm and breadth is 5 cm so our answer will be set of all rectangles so this question is done i hope you are all getting it right so these are all about today's session uh, see you again in the next class uh, till then bye bye thank you